And welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Remake. Ladies and gentlemen, where we last left off, we had to find three switches, uh, three switches, three fuses, which was uh, something, I guess. Not a super fan of that bit, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Um, right. Well, we've got some zombies to deal with, so uh, I'm, tem I'm kind of tempted to take... This, because I don't really want to waste too much ammo on these things, and there is a lot of them. We also are oh, the white heads back up as well, but we can put him down, kind of. I mean, he stayed dead for a while a minute ago. Okay, let's try that, see what happens. And let's go down. I'm pretty sure these Zeds all start getting up. There we go. Right, well, let's see if we can't. Oh, bloody hell. That's the trouble we had, wasn't it? They all turn into them, which is the problem. Come on. How are these zombies so hard? Get off me. Run, run, run. You know what? I'm just gonna burn these things. Kind of. I can't get over how tough those things are. Oh, jeez. Did we take any health with us? No. No, because uh, we've got to go all the way around. We'll be fine. Famous last words. We'll be fine. Okay, so. One, two, three. All systems, full power. Let's go have a little bit of a look down here, shall we? We don't want mine rounds. We got explosive rounds in there. Shit. He got away. Of course he got away, Jill. What was he doing in here? Ooh. Really? I mean that's handy, I guess. Okay, um. Hmm. Let's take some more flame rounds out. There we go. Uh, save room. We don't really want that. Anything else in here? Apparently. Ooh. Ooh. Expen extended magazine. Or expend extend. Can I? Uh, yeah. I think I'm coming down with tea, guys. Um, extended barrel for the lightning hawk this custom part for the 44e l hawk this ball barrel reduces recoil and imparts extra speed for bullets increasing damage um yes please thank you um i don't know how like close we are to the end of the game let's drop a save Because I want to use the Magnum, but I want to wait until we need to use it, you know? And we missed stuff back in that other room, but it wasn't anything important, I don't think. Uh, I have, like, any button? Ah. Unfinished activity. So, infiltrated RC. Disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. Observed five RPD officers engaging a pack of 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Really? Uh, test run at university. Diverted pack, including canines, to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. Successfully rendezvous with MV Platoon. We'll make first attempt at dawn. 
diverted pack towards command post. Result, night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. End of skirmish, seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point DP-18. Uh, tracking it as per orders, it appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars, a male, infected, and a female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Female Jill Valentine has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behavior are constant with Project N investigating. 0400. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons that seems to be strongly fixated on terminating J, uh, JV and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by hostile encounter with G GV. Video attached. GV has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples as per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to the virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to GV by CO, a soldier in MV platoon. GV expected to be fit for combat in approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear that the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with GV causes it to change and evolve. We'll introduce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Ooh. Oh. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. You're not looking so well, buddy. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if. We can deliver the vaccine to them. Before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Well, I hope Tyrell's okay. I mean, he looks kind of fucked. Um, we'll find the vaccine up ahead. I hope we can get some for you and some for Carlos. Right. Well, it looks like we can't run, so I'm guessing Tyrell's gonna get sliced. Sure, you don't need to stop. Stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. I think he's infected. You know, Jill does look pretty damn good. I know people are mixed on her appearance, and that's fair enough. Ooh. But I think she does look pretty good. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, if he wasn't infected before, he's definitely infected now. Um, yeah, shit. My thoughts exactly, Jill. It's fast. Nemi is fast. But Jill is tough, and Jill is strong. And Jill is also fast. Shit. The Pursuer. Well, at least we're being decontaminated. So here we are in their high-tech lab. Locked. Well, this is cool. Ah, another save room. Herbage. We got us some herbage. We got us some ammo. Well, some powder. Right, let's make some more shells. Would have been nice to have more magnum rounds, but... Eh, you know. The shotgun's pretty fucking cool. Ooh. Nest 2 employee regulations. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. 
Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorised entry by unapproved visitors or removal of work-related data or minerals will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honour to be part of the finest research organisation in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new revolutionary technologies. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds like a load of bullshit to me. Get up. Ooh. You're done. Okay. Ooh. One up the bum, no harm done. Ooh. Sit down and shut the fuck up. Ooh. Uh, excuse me. No. No, 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 no. Sit down and shut the fuck up was the order from Miss Valentine. Isaac Graves' diary. The pay was generous. The benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere, America. It was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is twenty twenty, Because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It is messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of the Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy here, uh, this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be a testament that I do have a cons uh, a conscience and that I've learnt my lesson yeah I imagine they uh, bullshitted their way to get a lot of people in this facility I imagine a lot of these people were fairly innocent to start with. Oh, look at this. Imagine this being the last thing you ever see. Your zombie? Nope. So, what do we have in here? I mean, these operating tables look nice and comfy, at least. Uh, essay on vaccine synthesis. The roles of antigens and an, uh, adjuvants in vaccine synthesis. Uh, Chief researcher Spencer, Nathan, uh, Nathaniel Bard. To most effectively synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen pro uh, produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, you can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen adjutant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 10, uh, 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Right, so they can cure people that are already infected. Interesting. Oh man, what a miserable place. Override key successfully generated. Okay. Override key removed. 
flash drive. A flash drive in 1998. Um, emergency security key used in Nest 2 allows employees to override security protocols in the event of emergency. Cool. Okay. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Okay. Synthesis? Oh. I have to make it myself? Uh, how hard can it be, Joe? How hard can it be? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Can't go that way. There's no doors up that way. And we've got Nemesis breaking the fucking door down somewhere. Okay. Well, door number one. Oh, hey friend. Oh, oh great, whitehead. Oh great, whiteheads. Uh, anything here that we can... Oh, we got that shipping notice. Shipping route, blah, 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 blah. Class hazardous materials, all trans... Zip within the United States has to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing, as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self activation. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, we here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation on this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive power. Please exercise extreme caution when using it. Yep. Oh, come on. Hopefully that will keep them dead for at least a little while. Oh, come the fuck on, man. This things are stupidly annoying. Oh, piss off. Oh, I hate these things with a passion. This is quiet. Ah, oh, so much reading. Oh. I mean, I like reading, but spread it out a bit. Culture sample. An antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. Sit down, love. Right. Uh, weapon authorization request. Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the, that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employee uh, interfering with the administration or interfacing with the, the administration and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not represent the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Ooh. Recently, some of our test subjects have developed new, a new mutagen, granting them very high regrowth ability. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regu uh, regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate make it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. Any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this re reason, I would like to request that high powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads to be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that, in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safety. Thank you very much for your consideration. Uh, yeah. Some of that, please. Ooh. Yeah, handgun bullets don't really cut the mustard. I don't think. But hey. It's... Oh, come on. Um. Oh, God. Let's 
So I think you can actually put these things down. It just takes... Oh, fuck's sake. It just takes a lot. Right. So where are we going here? More shells. Oh, two. Well, I mean, two is better than none, but still. How big is this nest place? Damn. Ooh. Scientist dying message. It happened. Our worst case scenario. The T-virus has somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture for the T-virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with the adju uh, adjuvant to enhance its effects. I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving civilians. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. The test subjects have already, are already wandering the halls. But I'd better find a way to get some samples whilst the culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. To find, uh, Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. This is the least we can do after setting these horrible events in motion. I mean, so like not all of the umbrella scientists are horrible monsters just a good portion of them you know uh yeah right well let's go downstairs and have a little look around we've missed one room out i think upstairs this must be what powers it. Yeah. He's done. Alright, let's put this bad boy in. This is a huge circuit breaker. Do we really want to open that door? Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Uh, sure, I guess. Right, well, let's have a look through here. Oh, all these tyrants and hunters. There's no way some of these. Is this where they're made? Looks like it, Joe. There's no way some of these aren't coming up. Oh man, they look like fucking predators. Oh. So we have missed um, one of the. Which I thought we'd missed one of the rooms. Maybe we hadn't. Well, let's go. Umbrella. You bastards. You snaky bastards, Umbrella. Now, there's no way none of that is going to become active. I'm telling... Ooh! Oh, come on. Not more of you. Eh. Well, you guys can be taken out with somewhat ease. It's these regenerating bastards that piss me off and worry me the most. Oh my god, check out the damage they take. He is smoking. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on! And our handgun is dry. Oh, fuck. Right, he's gone. Damn. Oh, great. Well, that would have been lovely. 
a year ago. Ooh. Oh, hello. You know what? Let's go deal with that. Now, it's a shame all of these people were probably the brains of the operation. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frank. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research, introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must... Uh, emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you're setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to, de to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like uh, Plasdemonium are far more genet genetically complex than the T-virus and to think, they will sub uh, think that they will submit to control is utter, utter folly. Perhaps in your country consumers are willing to buy uh, automobiles with brakes but here in America they know better with no brakes but here in America they know better I don't think so. Then again I Cool, you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely. So it's called the Nemesis. Mm. It's called the Nemesis. And there are scientists against it. Nice. I mean, to be fair to the game, it is kind of giving us what we need. Liquid filled test tube. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Yeah. You're learning, Jill. You could have been a scientist if you weren't a great uh, operative. Right, let's get out of here. So you can put these things down. They just take a hell of a lot of firepower. Now, do we have healing? Because I wasn't born yesterday and I've played a Resident Evil game or two. And we have a wall of tyrants and a wall of hunters. Tyrants don't look particularly developed, but these hunters look fine. And by fine, I of course mean deadly. Yep. And I would say fire is not effective against them at all. Lesson learned. How many do we have to fight? Uh oh. Oh my god. Two left. Two left. Well, that definitely could have been worse. Definitely could have been better as well. Oof. Fucking hell. Oh, I don't like this room. Do not like this room at all. Look at all these... Tyrants supposedly ready to go. Um, right, where are we going? Oh, we're actually on half an hour here, guys. I didn't even realise. So, I think we're going to head back into this room and then save the game. We can drop that back now. We can take these out. Do we have any explosive rounds? We do. We've got acid rounds as well. More mine rounds. Let's just take all the grenades. Because we're kind of running out <laughs> of worthwhile ammunition here. So we're going to use that. 
We got the Magnum, actually. Yes. Okay, what we're going to do. The flame rounds are not effective. So let's get you. And you. So we really don't have a lot of ammo here at all. Oh boy. And with that, guys, I'm going to save it because we're on half an hour. When we come back, is it going to be the end of the game? I don't know. But I guess we're going to find out. We have... Ooh, we have 20... 22 shotgun shells. We have a handful of grenades. Literally. Uh, and we have some magnum bullets. But that is it. Really. This is getting a bit sketch. I mean, we have, like, loads and loads and loads of magnum. Uh, explosive ammo. We've got, actually, stacks and stacks of ammo. So, let's refresh our stocks of that. Store that. Store that. Uh, let's get an, a pack of explosive ammo to go with it. So there we go. We've got a lot of grenades on us. And when we come back, guys, uh, we are going to hopefully not get completely and utterly fucked in the ass. But until then, guys, until then.